All right, here we are for round number two against Professor French. Uh, ooh, turn one Verdant Catacombs. So I could be facetious here and play my Bloodstained Mire and Pass, uh, which I think I could do. I think it's better than just playing Island Pass because he's unlikely to play around. I do want a blue-black land here anyway. And if he's living in, it's like obviously awkward that I'm not playing Serum Bridges, but my hand has two Pyromancers. So I actually really want to go like Pyromancer and then on turn three Pyromancer plus Vision. So I actually really, it's like a cheeky play, but I really like it. Because now, yeah, we shock ourselves. And I want to get a Water Grip anyway, because I want a second Island here. And we'll spell some of that. And now we have the Serum Visions for after we play both Pyromancers. Ooh, Pro. Probe's a gr actually an insane draw, right? Because I can play around Liliana now. So this actually worked out pretty well. So he's got uh, Bolt, Pulse, Bob, Meyer, Meyer. Let me draw a card. And game one, he's not likely to have any sort of sweepers, too. So we can go as wide as our heart desires. He's going to be able to go uh, Bolt plus Bob this turn. And I can kind of re-up him by going Pyromancer plus Cut. I don't really want to use a Cut because it's one of my only... It's my only... Well, I guess I have Snapcaster, so I don't mind using the Cut. But uh, probably going to see a Bob. Okay, Meyer, Bob, and then the Bolts. So that's a really good turn for him, obviously. Another Pyromancer, okay. So I think we just go Pyromancer into Murderous Cuts. And, and, and he can pulse, but it's going to take his whole entire turn to pulse my Pyromancer. Then I just have another one. So yeah, as much as I don't like this card, I mean, this in this matchup, they're just so... They're worse. They're a lot worse against John because they have bolts. They're just so powerful. Um, Snapcast. Oh, not Snapcast here. Visions. And we're just kind of really acc accumulating value here. Do we want a Delver? Next turn, if we draw Delver, we can play the Delver. But not the Tassiger if he doesn't kill the Pyromancer. Um. I think what we want to do is just draw the Serum Visions next turn with Delver underneath it. That way I can play both. Oh, I forgot. See, that happens to me a lot on Magic Online, uh, where I forget the cards in the stack, so I, I didn't uh, I didn't realize that it wasn't in my graveyard or whatever. Okay, so his last card is Bloodstained Mire. Oh, no, he just played it. So actually, we don't know his last card right now. Oh, no, he never... Yeah, no, no, it's a Bloodstained Mire. Sorry, he never uh, played the second one. So, what can we do here? We can play Serum Visions, Delver, and Tassiger. So let's go ahead and just attack. Didn't realize I could do this last turn, but it makes me look really smart now. <laughs> but I figure the Serum Visions into Delver is probably better than a random card. It's probably going to flip, and we're probably going to look for a spell. Okay, top. Wait, what happened to my Delver? Did I fetch? Okay, I'm super confused. Did he... He didn't path me or anything? I don't really know what happened to my Delver. I'm just gonna leave the cuts. But, whatever. I must have accidentally bottomed it. Turn 5. Bottom. Top. I guess I accidentally bottomed it. I was uh, My plan was to top it. But, I uh, don't really think he can come back this game, or I'd be surprised. We're drawing Electrolyze here. And since we have Electrolyze on top, I'm just going to fire in with my Elementals. If he really wants to block... If he really wants to block, then we can take out his creature post combat.
don't quite have enough mana in a Snapcaster cut, but I want to save that for a Tarmogoyf or an Olivia or something like that. Ooh, interesting. Did not expect that block. So I guess he's got a bolt in his hand. It's kind of unfortunate. The question is, should I activate the Tassiger? It's going to mill Serum Visions plus another card. Yeah, you can't float mana with that. Ooh, and actually, that's pretty bad for him because if you float mana, like, combat happens, then the mana doesn't actually go through because it goes to damage. But he has to shock himself, assuming he doesn't have a basic mountain. Um, so he should have fetched for a swamp and then activated it with a red up. Because he has to shock himself now, which is clearly not great. I could have main phase electrolyzed him because I knew I was probably going to do it anyway. Uh, based on the fact that I have a Serum Vision on the top of my deck. But now, like, I just think that he has zero outs. It doesn't really matter. Okay. But yeah, drawing three Primance, Power Mancers was pretty nice this game. Game two. So against Jund. This is where I was at before. I definitely want Culligan's command. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if he was boarding in these painful truths in this matchup or not. I think I definitely want EE. Just as another way of getting rid of Goyf. Because this version only plays two terminates in one cut, which is kind of low. Collective Brutality, I think, is going to be fine. Because he's got Bobs. Um, I remember. Electrolyze is not great in this matchup, especially on the draw. I think we can cut one. Probably the other one as well. If I'm gonna be if I'm gonna have a card like that, I'd much rather have Coligan's command. The only card that kills is Dark Confidant. So we can cut another one. And Spell Pierce could actually be good on the draw. Because it's good against Liliana and it's can, it can like tag bolts and pulse and stuff like that. I usually don't like this kind of card against fair matchups, but I think on the draw, like in a pinch. It could be good. It's good with Pyromancer as well. The question is, what do I cut at this point? It has to cut, like, Lightning Bolt, I think. Lightning Bolt is weird. It's, like, good against them, but it's also not. Like, it kills Bob, but outside of that, it doesn't do much. And sometimes they board out Bobs, just because it's, like, I have lots of ways of killing it, and I have lots of ways of putting pressure on their life total. Um, the other card that's not great is Delver. I could cut a Delver, which, which is ridiculous, yeah, to cut 1x Delver. But, like, I think the games that Delver is significant versus the games that Spellpier is significant are going to be... I think Spellpier is, is going to be probably, like, on the draw, really insane sometimes, where the Delver is always just going to be medium. But it's going to be bad when it's bad, so I'm not actually in love with that. Painful Truce on the draw, I'm not sure about either. I think I'm going to try it. Like, if he just got this card in his sideboard, I'd, it seems ridiculous not to board it in against an, uh, another slow control deck. Yeah, can I ever cut a probe? I'm just going to take out a probe. Putting in something that deals me damage. I don't want to take too much damage against that Jun deck with man lands. And I'm on the draw. So I'll leave Spell Pierce out. I'll bring this uh, one Painful Truths in. I, I definitely don't think it's right to bring in both Painful Truths. It's a nice top deck and a nice card to randomly Thought Scour into the bin. <laughs> there it is. I guess we keep this hand. Two Terminates is really good. That means I'm covered against... I'm covered against most things that aren't Liliana. I guess Painful Truths is pretty good against Liliana. But I will keep... No hand disruption is nice. I, I really didn't want to see a um, uh, Inquisition, but I think usually they brought out so Inquisition is weird because it doesn't hit the delve spells, which are like some of the best spells. And also Thoughtseize is weird because it deals them damage. I think I just want lands, but I will take the probe because I would like to know what's going on. And also I could potentially go snip probe, snapcaster probe if I miss my land on turn three. I 
Um, I could have hold up Spell Snare there, but it just playing. I need to hit my lands. Playing the Serum Visions is, is, I think, the best the best play. It's probe. I could actually pay for this probe, but I'm gonna pay life because I could draw Delver or Serum Visions. Okay, Pulse, Pulse, Terminate, Ooze, Kevin Tuss. Okay, he's only got two lands. Good for me. Drew a Tassiger. It's close to being really good. But it's only okay. So, you're probably going to be able to Spell Snare his Ooze next turn. And take kind of a commanding position on this game. He did draw a third land, which is obviously quite nice. It will allow him to Pulse Tassiger. He's actually going to do a smart thing and slow roll that, that Ooze, which I like a lot. If I can draw a land, though, I can maybe just play a Painful Troops. Do another Tassiger. Oh, I don't love this at all. I don't want to get rid of that Bolt, but I guess he can just play Ooze and get rid of the Bolt. So yeah, let's just play the Tassiger. It's very, very awkward because he's probably just going to Pulse it next turn. But then we end up in the same situation where we don't have Graveyard, but... I don't think I can just do nothing. Oh, he's got a Terminate in his hand. I forgot about that. Still fine, though. Got to clear that out eventually. And I'm not guaranteed to draw land. That was obviously not great. Ooh, we drew a full Nether Well, that's really good. Um, we're not dead, though, if we draw land. Okay, now we're probably dead. I don't think there's anything we could do there. I mean, not pl playing the Tasker didn't change anything versus, uh, versus what he had. Luckily, I can draw out of this. Like, I have Terminates for both of his threats. Um, and I have... A task here to follow it up, slash painful truths. But we absolutely can't take that much more damage here. We have to draw land, and we don't. So I guess I just pitch a spell snare. But he can play ooze, and I can't actually bolt it. So I think I'm just going to be dead, even if I draw running lands, unfortunately. Yeah. I guess if I just draw, I can go running terminate and take some damage. And what I can do here is if he activates the ooze end of turn, I can bolt it. So he shouldn't do that. So that worked out pretty well for me. He got a little bit greedy there. Which is nice for me. Though he's got that ravine. I, I don't know. This is not. <laughs> we're dead to. Many things are bad for me here. No land helps. We're kind of hoping he drop, drew a two drop threat. Or just a removal spell. So he could do another full mage. image. Gross. That is disgusting. Um. I mean, I want a scoop. I'm, I'm, I'm just dead. Dead. I'm not gonna win this game. I can like shock myself, kill the Kalidus, that I'm taking two. If he draws a land, I'm just, I'm just uh, dead because he's got six on board. He still has two pulses. Yeah, forgot about the terminate in his hand, but it didn't really matter. So I definitely want this extra land if this is his plan against me. Um, I definitely think I want the painful truth too because I want to just. I want to just like play that in turn three and have plenty of lands and spells. Not sure about brutality. He might be boarding out uh, those the dark confidence on the draw. Maybe EE is bad on the play. I'm much more likely to be countering his stuff. And maybe also I want to cut like I don't know. Colgan's man is just so good. But it is kind of slow. I think Brutality is probably my worst card, but its best case scenario is super strong. Though, like, when am I going to cast it? Turn three to kill a Dark Confidant isn't that great. And he might not have any spells in his hand by the time I can use this. It's never going to kill an Ooze. Yeah, let's just cut that. I don't love cutting EE, but I think I'm going to be the aggressor here with, like, the. 
I, even though I have painful truths, I think it's fine. Like I think we're gonna be on the on the put pressure on him, and then if he like trades resources, then we can play painful truths and tasker and grind him out. Oh, this is why I don't like multiple bolts. Like four bolts against him because they kill very few things. And our own Oh man, I think we mulligan in this hand. I don't Well, we can bolt his like first play. If he just plays just Lilian on turn three, we're just dead. I think I'm gonna mulligan. It's pretty close, but I, I just want a hand that's a bit more proactive with the ability to uh the ability to like, go long if necessary. He mulled two, which is nice. A uh, Serum Visions, I'll top that. Because it'll mean my Delver flips. Um Which is quite nice. Scry rule. I guess, you know, didn't really do anything because I didn't bottom that, but if he I'm okay with uh with the thoughts he's here. Because I can serum visions into more gas. A bolt would be good as well. Hmm. I'm just going to flip it, force him to use the seal of fire. The question is, do we... Do we play out the young Pyromancer, or do we Thought Scour first? The problem with playing out the Pyromancer is if he... He very likely would play the seal of fire over a card like Inquisition of Kozlek. So he might have it, but if we play out the Pyromancer, he can just terminate it. Which I don't love. And what are the like? I guess if we draw another cantrip, then we get a one one out of it, and we can beat Liliana pretty easily. So I'm actually gonna play the Serum Visions. I think that's fine. And we could draw into like a Delver or something to play here. We do a Desolate Lighthouse. All right. Well, I don't really like my chance here. I can actually fetch because I bought them both. But my hand being all these lands is not that helpful. Though I guess the Loot House could potentially get me out of out of a sticking situation. I have no removal for a Goy for a Bob, though, which is tough. He's tanking, so that makes me think that he likely has a hand disruption spell that he's thinking about playing. No. Okay. Gross. That is disgusting. Um, any reason to play the Pyromancer here? I don't... Well... If he plays Liliana, it's not great. If he just has a turn, he can't actually play a terminate here. He needs a bolt. And I'll be I want a loot house next turn. So I think I actually am just going to play the Pyromancer. Very likely going to eat a bolt for Liliana. But I don't think sandbagging it makes much sense when next turn I want to use my mana to loot if I don't draw anything good. Drop decay. Okay. Could be pretty tough to win this one, I feel like. Full mana mage. Actually, my hand is excellent against full mana mage. I have that kind of covered. So let's just fetch for a blood crypt, I guess. Actually, do I want to fetch? So if I draw Delver, I'd like to be able to scry. So we just don't fetch. Not gonna say that I got punished, but I wasn't gonna pull the swamp out anyway. I was gonna get a blood crypt. Um But I think that being said, I think uh this swamp out. I think people fetch too much in these decks, because if I draw any any of my three Delvers left, that, that scry is gonna be pretty big. I guess I'm hoping he just has a multiple full mana page draw. He probably figures that I have some sort of counter magic or terminate in my hand. Hoping he, I guess if he draws like hand disruption, that's good for us. There's a five six goy. Okay. Oh, wow, that's just brutal. It's just not really realistic, I don't think. Fortunately. But that's kind of how it goes. When you play a when you play, I guess I sided in the land, but it's it's actually good here. When you play a twenty land deck, 
you are going to get flooded and both flooded and screwed sometimes. Oh, this is just this is just gross. Okay, plant one more land, sure. But the roof house might actually pull me ahead here. Like he doesn't have uh, any other threat that we know of. He's probably sitting on lands or removal spells, and he didn't draw a raging ravine. But this is kind of game where. John, like, man, lands are just so good. Raging Ravine kills so fast. I, w I would just be dead this game had he had a Raging Ravine. But he doesn't, fortunately. Nothing. Are we doing it? I don't really want to play out any more lands. I could make him discard. I could wait to see if he draws, like, time to wait for something. If he draws, like, ink, I actually think I should do it now for a few reasons. One, it gets my Pyromancer in play. Two, he might, like, draw into a land and at this point not play it. I think maybe, like, it's pretty likely he's got another land in his hand, or he's on two removal spells, which Culligan's plan is good against. But the other thing is. If I wait and he just draws Inquisition of Kozak or Thoughtseize, I can't, like, Culligan's Command gets bricked. I think he probably sided some out, but he's probably got at least a few Inquisitions in his deck. Let's go ahead and, uh, turn the PZ and make him discard. I could actually, it's not unreasonable to get Dill back when I have all these fetch lands, but I think I'm going to just try to loot these away. Really hoping that we get... I mean, I guess if we get a land, that's fine, but we get a removal spell, which is super nice. I could not play this, but I don't, I don't think it's right. If I loot next turn, would I ever want to play a 3-drop? Sometimes. Could play a land here. It's close. I might want to play like a Painful Truth or something next turn. Yeah, let's just play the land. I think it's fine. With the loot land, he's got some really good top decks, but I've got some like insane top decks, like Snapcaster, Major, Painful Truths. I kind of like where this is going. Tasker, I actually was just thinking. Maybe I should have fetched for a black source. I really don't want to take all this damage for this. Well, I guess I don't have to. I could uh, wait till next turn. I should have I should have probed him before this. Because I wait till next turn, I get value off of it. But this is just kind of mana inefficient. So yeah, let's get the blood crypt. At this point, I am going to probe him though. Collective Brutality, okay. Ooh, drawing the Angler is nice. I want to leave the Terminate in there, even though, like, Tasker is weird. I want to leave the Terminate in there just because if I draw Snapcaster Mage, I want a bunch of options. And I want a creature in my graveyard for, for uh, Colgan's command. So this is fine. Maybe he'll fire off a duress here just, just to see. Kitchen Finks. It's a pretty annoying draw, but I think we're beating it most of the time. We play Tassiger. I don't want to leave. Just to terminate, I think. No, I'll leave both, just because if I draw into, uh, oh, I have to leave just one. Yeah, I'll leave the Terminate. I want to be able to kill a Goyf. Like, his Goyf is going to be a 5-6 still, because he's got enchantments. Um, so being able to kill a Goyf is pretty nice on this board. If he attacks, it's kind of awkward, because... 
If I block, he can then finish my guy off. But I think I just take it. Okay, he's going to kill that. I think in response, we do this. Because I don't really want to have over back. I'd rather have a terminate. Especially because he just drew the ravine. But I guess if he attacks, he's just like really hurt. He's really in a lot of pain on the reswing. He does the terminate. Wow, signing in that loot house was actually... I could never have imagined that to be as good as it was this game. Even though we only used it like twice, <laughs> we were able to pretty much seal the game by like increasing our ability to top deck. So as much as, like I made, not made fun of it, but I said I would never play this kind of card on my sideboard, it actually was quite effective this game. And he was boarding in Fulminator Mages against me, which I lost to in game two. So it was reasonably nice to uh, have that ability to uh, I'm going to turn this. Pretty smart attack by him, but I, f I completely forgot what I was saying. Oh, oh, the uh, the loot house was good. So get the Delver back. Okay, another Tassiger. How could I die? I couldn't. He can actually take all of this damage, which is a bit awkward. And then, like, if he draws Bolt, I'm, I just live because I, I can just block with the Delver. Okay, that's fine. Probably going to take out my Loot House, which is fine with me. I could loot here. I guess I will because I have Delver plus Spell Snare up. And I just want to get rid of this extra. Is looting better than... Actually, looting is not better than activating, is it? I think activating is just better. What? I have a basic island and a basic swamp. Why does it not work? Wow. Oh, this is blue-green. I have to pay another blue for this. I only have three blue sources, that's why. In which case, I still think looting is better. Or sorry, I still think activating is better. Don't really think there's anything he can draw. Maybe like damnation? But even that, I think we're beating. So I think I just play out the Delver. It's fine if he draws damnation. I just reload. Okay. That is lethal, so we didn't draw anything. We have terminate covered and we win the match. Sweet.